Hi, my name's G Moore, and this is the first in a series of cooking programs that I'm going to put together. Um, this is mainly for people like myself who spend a lot of time in the studio, don't necessarily always want to get takeaway and don't have the time to go out. Invariably, if you gig at the weekend as well, you're going to get the munchies around Wednesday <laughs> even more than you would. You're going to want to build up that energy ready for the weekend as well anyway. So this is what this is about. just want to put some of these little programs together to show you what I do. Um, I'm not a chef or anything, not in a long way, but just like music, I like to create. And these are most, mostly dishes that I've um, experimented with. Um, so maybe there's something here for you guys as well, hopefully. Uh, it's vegan. Uh, I say vegan because I also use honey, and I know that's a big uh, controversial area, but there'll be other substitutes for those people who don't. So maybe I'm not completely vegan, but whatever. Uh, this is predominantly vegan. Uh, food nice and easy to put together a lot of taste so don't be put off if uh, if you're a meat eater or whatever you know we'll swing you around in the end don't worry uh, so the first one I'm going to do is something like um, mm, people would call it like a veggie burger maybe or whatever I like to call them cakes veggie cakes but whatever I'll start off with the basis and then you can add whatever you want afterwards as well as we go along I'll just throw some stuff in there experimentally as well and and you'll see how it goes so hope you get something out of this and uh, off we go and so let's start off with some ingredients we're going to be using beets of course well no tracks complete without beets so we're going to be using some beets some beetroot good red beetroot you're going to want to get some carrots then we're going to use some onions we're going to be using oils now the oil I use mostly is coconut oil because it burns at a higher temperature. Then there's salt. I particularly use Himalayan pink salt. It's very recognizable, it's pink. It's got a lot of health benefits too, a lot of good vitamins in there. And it's much, much better for you than, of course, the normal salt that you can get, which is, I think, like a third glass in there. So it's not very good for your normal salt. That's the problem with it, it's, it cuts into your arteries. Now we want some oats. Then we've got Terminac cumin we're going to use some curry and there's a couple of different curries you can use as well I, mine's not mine's quite a mild one I use because I use the terminac as well and sometimes I add some peppers to it too then there's oregano paprika pepper nutmeg like I say you don't have to have all these all of these ingredients but it's nice to have some some of these uh, herbs and spices in there is, is really good. I love the lot in because it's all good for you. I think there's a theory goes that you don't really want to put too much in, otherwise you're kind of covering up the flavors and everything. But I don't mind as long as you've got the main stuff at the beginning that I told you about. Those are the base. <laughs> you know, we need a good base in this mix. I'm going to put canoa in this. Canoa is, is important though. It binds the ingredients together quite well. Then we're going to want some honey. Brown sugar is good too. Oh, that stevia is good. I don't like stevia so much because it's very good for you, but it doesn't really taste that great, I don't think. I can always taste it like an aftertaste. One of the main things we do need here, and this is very important, is chickpeas. Nothing to do with chicks, okay? <laughs> no chicks were harmed in this meal.
What I like to do first is preheat some of the ingredients so they're a little bit softer. I don't mean, I mean kind of al dente. I don't mean really soft because we're going to cook these anyway. So I take the carrots, the beetroot, the chickpeas, and I cook these for a little time first, maybe for like 10 minutes or so on like a simmer, just so as they're a little bit softer. That's all. They don't want to be cooked outright, but they want to be softer. Then I put a pan on the heat with some coconut oil. Coconut oil will cook to a higher temperature, whereas olive oil doesn't. I prefer to use olive oil to add to a vinaigrette or something for salads. So we get a pan, put our coconut oil and whatever oil you want inside and we start cooking that up, get that heated up a little bit and then we take the onion and we finely chop the onion so it's nice and small because these pieces we're going to bind together so we want them as small as possible so we're going to chop them up nice and small. And then that's going to go into the pan that we have here. That's nice. A little sizzle. And then while that's going, we take the chickpeas. That, like I say, they've already been pre-cooked a little bit. We're going to get the back of a fork. You can use a, a blender of some sorts if you want on this. But um, I'm going to keep it all handy. Put my thumb on the back of the fork. It's going to keep pressing away at those little peas and, until we come up with like a mash. You keep going and keep going till they're all done. Just work your way around the bowl and they're all, they're all crunch up nice and small. So you've got like, this kind of pasty mash or whatever. Then I'm going to add to it the oats and the oats like the canola as well, which we're going to use. Like, we're going to put those together and we're going to add some coconut oil in with this as well. And this canoa, the canoa is really, really good. It's, it's very high in protein, it kind of binds the ingredients together the same way as egg would. If you was like a meat eater and you was to eat egg. Okay, so when we've done that, we've mashed that all together. We're going to take the onion, beetroot, and we're going to put those on a small heat. And in fact, actually, I'm going to add it to the onion that's in the pan. Get that cooking there nicely all together. And I'm going to add the other ingredients to it. Terminac, curry, some oregano, a little dab of paprika, just a pinch, and definitely only a pinch of pepper. Same with the nutmeg, and I think that should just about do it. So we put all that lot there, stir that around a little bit. Because I'm using the curry, mine's gone a little bit yellowy in colour as well, in, in parts of some deep reds in there and some oranges, as you can see. So this is going nicely. Just for a few minutes like this, a bit stir-fried. And then we're going to put that out onto a plate next to our original paste that we made, which was the chickpea paste. So we're going to squish those together. Now you can do it to consistency how you want. You've got to be able to squeeze it in your hand, open it up and it stay together in a ball, like a piece of Play-Doh or whatever. Now you can even make one like the classic burger shape, the round flat shape, or you can make little balls. Now for this one I'm making kind of like, <laughs> maybe it's like a fusion of curry and Italian. <laughs> Uh, because I've actually got curry in this. Uh, I like to make both. So I'm going to make both for this one, but whichever way you want to do it, you want to make either a small ball if you just want the ball size, or if you want to make them the flat cake size, you just want to make it a little bit bigger, like twice, three times the, the normal ball size, and then just make that round, squish it together with your hand and roll it around. And then you want to push it flat, push it down, and then go around the edges and make sure they're kind of like not too oval. You just want to keep them the same consistency all the way through the cake. Well, let's say like about five millimeters or a centimeter, up to a centimeter thick all the way through and round. You can make them what you like, but I, I like to go with something that's about the palm of my hand. I've got big hands, by the way, so uh, palm of my hands is about the same size as like a normal burger would be. And then we're going to place those on a tray with a little bit of oil underneath just so as they don't burn. But we'll put them in a preheated oven on quite a low, a low heat. I suppose 180, something like that, you know, 182 maximum. Um, because we don't want these to vigorously cook because they've already had this cooking process. We just want to heat them again. And the main thing is just really just to keep a check on them. If it's black, it's no good. 
but I'd say like about 20 minutes like this, maybe half an hour. Depends on your oven. Mine doesn't have such good plugins. <laughs> so uh, it's okay, it does the job, so it's okay. But you, maybe you've got something a bit more up to date. Maybe you've got a load of Wave and Native Instruments plugins on there and <laughs> automated fan and all the rest of it. So but anyway, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. And while we do that, we're gonna make up some sauce, a very, very simple tomato sauce. Take some plum tomatoes, which I like. Plum tomatoes are great for this. And um, you can uh, like heat them up to begin with and skin them. That's a good idea if you really wanna do it properly. You know what I mean? Don't use the ones out of the can. There's nothing left in those. There's no vitamins, there's no good substance in there. Just take some proper tomatoes. I grow my own now. Um, you know what you're gonna get out of the garden. You know, just go and get it. And then you wanna uh, mash those up. With a little bit of oil, you wanna put them on the pan and get them going. And I add some oregano to that. I might have added oregano, by the way, to the original mix as well, but this is, this is cool. I like, to, I like to use oregano. And um, yeah, and you just wanna mash that up really. If you've got a processor, you can really whiz, whiz that up as well, really finely, which is good. Uh, you wanna add some salt in that. And I add coconut milk. What I do is with the coconut milk, is I leave it in the fridge for a little while and part of it will go like a consistency of cream or double cream. Basically, you've got creamy tomato. And that's it really, just unless there's anything else you want to add into that as well. But I think that's fine. For me, that's great. So I just make up um, some salad with mine normally, just a little bit of lettuce, um, some cucumber maybe, um, even some more smaller tomatoes like the cherry tomatoes, something like that, whatever you want. Nuts of your preference are nice as well. And maybe with some dried fruit, some cranberry or something like that are really nice as well. I like that in my salads. And what I do is I also make up a small sauce for that. I'll go into to, uh, salads later on, but it's quite easy. It's just lemon. You just squeeze a lemon. You add some honey. Put in the same amount of vinegar as the honey. Mix that up to the consistency you want. And if you want, you can add a couple of little herbs in that as well. Like I say, oregano is a great one for me. I just throw that in everything. I just love it. And so we'll come back when the veggie cakes are ready and then we'll add all this lot together. Right, so everything's ready now. Uh, the veggie cakes looking good. They're not burnt, which is great. <laughs> They're kind of squishy, but a more solid casing around them. You know, like you can squish them, they, the edge would kind of like crack a little bit. Then we cover the tomato sauce just over the top of that and maybe some herb from the garden, you know, some leaf to garnish it. It makes it look nice too, you know, it's presentable. Then what I do is I get the salad, I put that on the side and then I just do the same with the spoon for the vinaigrette that I've made. And that's it. This is going to be great for you, you know, there's a lot of protein, a lot of vitamins in there and it's the sort of thing you can tuck into afterwards even when it's cold. So there you go. Bora Bora boys and girls. Mm. Bit of pesto in there, cool, okay. You can, oh, you can amend my creation, it's okay. No, there's a, there's a, there's yeah. a little chai. Uh, sure. We've got some sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, natural, organic. Mm -hmm. We've got Bora Bora girl Kelly. Kelly, say Ooh. hello to the video. Yeah. Here we go, let's Hello, hello, hello. Kelly, lazy. Yeah. Papa. you enjoyed this one and uh, give it a go and uh, if you've got anything else to add I'd love to know and so until next time enjoy <laughs>